Hey guys, this week a question came in, can I have too much reference? So let's look at this example of idea as a castle. How would I break down that reference? I'd have castle reference, mood, environment, and lighting references. So depending on what we want to do with those, so castle references, if we had two very different types of castles and we had a ton of reference on them, that wouldn't work so good. Likewise, if we had very contrasting moods in our reference pages, that is also pulling our idea in two different directions. So with the environment, same thing. If we just say mountains and we're not specific with those mountains, there's going to be a problem because there's dozens of types of mountains. Then if we have lighting reference, if we're trying to draw structures of different colors based off different lighting, there's going to be a problem when we're making our picture and we're getting a lot of extra reference. So the solution is simple. Just be specific. And I like to make a statement like, I want to design a gothic castle that's decaying in the frozen wastes. That way your reference can all work with that.